So guys, are you ready for this? Let's watch. So right now I'm going to mix a little bit of different shades. Even if this palette has a lot of different shades like burgundy, uh, red, oranges, orange, yellow, greens, eyeshadows, it looks like every eyeshadow can be used together. So I'm going to mix and match and create a beautiful makeup look. And I already primed my eyes with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer and I also, also set it with my Huda Beauty powder. So I'm going to go in uh, with this now. No, I don't. I'm going to go in with this yellow shade. So let's take a blending brush and I'm going to use, I'm going to use this Ofra eyeshadow blending brush. This is number 21 and go into maze. They are powdery. They are powdery, but I don't mind. That is why I didn't do my eye face makeup before. And guys, I have to say, I really enjoy the mirror in these palettes. So like I said, I haven't used this palette before. This yellow looks very nice. So I'm taking it higher than my crease because I want it to be to I want you to be able to see this shade and I have very hooded eyes so I always have to take my my crease shade a little bit above my usual crease and that's a great tip if you have hooded eyes take your eyeshadow that you have in your crease and put it a little bit above the crease when you look straight you can see here is the crease and then take it a little bit above and of course in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with this green shade with the same golden apple. I'm going to go in with the same brush and actually I'm going to take it just in the crease and I'm going to take it a little bit above but not as high as I did with the yellow one because I want this yellow to show up. On the eyes and they are very powdery guys so if you don't like that then maybe be careful when you use these eyeshadows but I'd never mind if the eyeshadow is powdery I just want it to work and be and blend nice and go and stay on my eyelids that is what I want and I really like this green shade and it stays green when you apply it over the yellow one. That's great. I was afraid that it's going to turn gray on the eye, but it doesn't. It's still that nice green shade. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go in with this clay shade and put that right in my crease. As you can see, I don't have a lot of space on my eyelids, so I always need to take my eyeshadow a little bit higher. I'm really liking this palette. I'm going to go back with this brush and without any eyeshadow, I'm going to blend a little bit above so we see that green a little bit more. But they blend very nice. I think this looks great. I don't have any eyeshadow on this brush, just everything that was left. And we are blending. Okay, that looks good. So, I'm going to take my concealer and cover whole eyelid. So it's not perfect part crease, but it is what it is. I don't know if they are the same, but it is what it is. I should be happy with that. Then I'm going to clean that brush 
and I am going to try not to wet it to see how it's looking dry and put this shade Harvest all over my eyelid everywhere where we have that concealer. Oh my god, look guys, this is not even wet brush. This is dry brush. Ooh, this looks great. So this is how, oh my god, I love this. This is how this eyeshadow looks with a dry brush. Amazing. So I'm going to take uh, this earth shade with a very small eyeshadow brush and let's see where I can find it. I'm going to take this angled brush and take that earth dark shade that we have here in this palette. And I'm going to place it on the edges. Uh, wrong brush. I need a smaller brush. I'm going to take uh, this kind of brush. Let's try that one. Ooh, this looks great. I love this. Place a little bit here too. So there is a little bit of fallout right now with this eyeshadow. But we're going to clean that up later. And then I'm going to use my finger and go into a sunflower. Oh, this is a beautiful yellow shade. And look how beautiful that looks, guys. That looks so cute. So I'm going to take my other finger and place that harvest the, and then try to blend the edges a little bit with my finger. So I like how this looks. So I'm going to finish my face makeup and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back. My makeup is uh, done on my face. I used this Milani foundation and I used to bake and to set my makeup, this sugar cookie from Huda Beauty. I also used the contour, this Smashbox palette. I used all the shades in here. I used uh, this to brighten a little bit under my eyes. I used this to contour, bronzer, blush, and this highlighter. I did use that. On my lips, I have the lip pen from uh, the lip pen? from Rebecca Stella Reckless, and I also have the ColourPop and um, Caitlyn Light Col collab lip gloss Moon Child. Love that one. It looks beautiful together with this eyeliner lip pen. And I also use the Huda Beauty uh, eyelashes. This is Farah 12 with this glue. This is. Eilor, 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 I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I love this, um, the glue, the second package that I'm using. So let's go back to this palette. So I'm going to use this brush from Ofra 11 and take, hmm, really want to smoke it out a little bit. We're going to take this rye all over the low lash line. haven't used this shade and I do want it to use it. I'm going to take it a little bit lower. It doesn't show up too much on my skin tone but it looks very nice. We're going to use another shade. Nice. Then I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to use number 11 for BH Cosmetics and I'm going to do vegetate Vegetation, vegetation, I know what pronounce this orange shade here. And take it very close to my low lash line and smoke it out. I think this shade is very interesting. 
Then I'm going to go back with this brush from Beach Cosmetics that we used before under here and blend everything. And I want to dock it up a little bit even more. So I'm going to take this soul, soul uh, this shade here that we haven't used yet with the same brush and place that over the orange one that we just blended. And then I'm going to take the darker shade here, Earth, with the same brush and place it at the same place. Then I'm going to take this detail brush and go in with Barely, this or Bailey, I don't know how to pronounce this shade. The names are hard to pronounce and put that right. Oh, that's, that's bright. Oh, that's so pretty too. A little bit on here. Yeah, I do have a highlighter. And yeah, that's the look, guys. I think this turned out very, very beautiful. I really, really like how all these shades work together on this, uh, on my eyes. I love the pigmentation. I love how easy it is to blend these shades. I love the packaging. I think it's sleek. It's very nice. I this is very beautiful palette for fall and I think I'm going to use it a lot. I really, really like how this turned out. I don't even want to remove my makeup. I'm very happy with the results. So give a thumbs up if you like this look and if you want to see me do more makeup looks with these palettes. I have all of them. I think they are amazing. I think they are very easy to blend. Now I haven't, I did use this one and the purple one, Blossom. Uh, the purple one, there is already makeup look on my channel for that. I probably have a card up here somewhere so you can watch that too. But guys, I'm very happy with these palettes. I think they're amazing and they did cost a lot to ship here to Sweden. But I think it's worth the money. So, that was everything. I hope you liked this look. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I put three videos every week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I hope I see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.